So we know that when both the enthalpic term and the entropic term are negative, that delta G is also going to be negative, and therefore the reaction is going to be spontaneous or product favored. Conversely, if both the entropic and the enthalpic term are positive, uh, delta G is also going to be positive, and so the reaction will be reactant favored or non-spontaneous. So what happens if we're in a gray area where one of the terms is negative and one of the terms is positive? Uh, so when we do that, what we need to know are the rel relative values between the enthalpic term and the entropic term. And another important factor that goes into this is the temperature, because uh, entropy is multiplied by temperature. And so as a note, uh, temperature is in the units of Kelvin, not degree C or Fahrenheit. So to look at this, we're going to look at uh, the equilibrium between liquid water and gaseous water. Uh, an easier way to think of this is boiling water, uh, liquid water to form steam. So we know when we're boiling water that we have to add energy uh, in the form of heat in order to boil the water. So we put uh, water on the stove, uh, for instance, to uh, boil water. And so we know then that since we're adding heat energy, that this is endothermic, which means delta H is greater than zero. Also, by using the definition that uh, entropy is disorder, uh, gas is more disordered than a liquid. So we know that this is also entropically favored. So delta S is going to be greater than zero. So the question then is, is this spontaneous? So if we look at this at room temperature, so 25 degrees C or 298 K, uh, what we find is that uh, we need the enthalpy terms first. So water um, as a gas has a delta H of negative 241.8 kilojoules per mole, whereas liquid, it's negative 285.8 kilojoules per mole. And that is an overall delta H term of 44 kilojoules per mole, positive, as we predicted. For entropy, the entropy for gas uh, is 188.825, and this is in joules per K times moles. And liquid water, 69.91 joules per K moles. And that makes the change in entropy for this reaction, 118.915 joules K times mole. So, at 25 degrees C, or 298 K, it's going to be equal to 44 minus 298 times 118.915. That comes out to 8.56 kilojoules per mole. That's positive. So at 298K, this is not a spontaneous reaction. But if we increase the temperature to 100 degrees C, 
or 373K, which is the boiling point of water, what we find is that we're going to multiply the entropic term by a larger number, now 373. So this term is going to become more negative. And what we get in this case is 44 minus 44.36, which is equal to negative 0 0.36 k joules per mole. The sign is negative. And so by increasing the temperature, we've now made the reaction spontaneous or product favoring.